you ever watch Big Brother? No. You've never seen it? I've seen it maybe five, six, seven years ago. I haven't seen it since then. Okay, so the concept is it's like 16 people. Mm -hmm. They live in a house together and they compete for different criteria so that they can kick out other people in the house. Right. Or save themselves. And some of it's like endurance stuff where they make you like stand on a little tiny ledge for as many hours as you possibly can without falling off. Some of them are like smarty pants things where they ask you a bunch of yes or no, true or false questions you got to answer. But a lot of it is like it's real strategy. It's like you don't want somebody to target you and kick you out of the house because you want to stay till the end because at the end you can win a half a million dollars. That's Mm -hmm. the incentive. You got to beat out 16 people, though. That's going to take some time. It does take time. And that's why it's a summer show that CBS has, and it goes on the entire summer. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, you know, it's COVID. What are they going to do? How are they going to do Big Brother? But no, they figured it out. They decided who they were going to use. It's all all all-star people who've been on the show before. They put them in quarantine for two weeks. Everybody got tested multiple times. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they figured out that they were all completely healthy, they stuck them in this house without masks. So that's what's going on. So that they're all in the house and it's still going on. The summer is not over yet. And we have a couple more episodes left. Mm. But as I was watching, there's two things that go. There's three things that go on. There's the physical game. There's your social game. And there's the smarty pants game. So you've got to be smart to figure stuff out. Mm-hmm. You've got to be social so that you don't tick off a bunch of people so that they target you and, and try to get you kicked off. And then you also have to be physically strong because the physical stuff so you can win head of household or a veto or, you know, something that saves you and keeps you in the house another week. Got it. Between the two of us, which one of us do you think would do better at Big Brother? Wow. You, you would fail every physical challenge there is. (laughs) Probably. (laughs) Because you're, (laughs) unless it's swimming, you're not good at anything else. I mean, no. if you had to stand for a long time, you couldn't do it. No, I would I would jump right off immediately. I'd be like, this is not for me. Right. But you're better socially up until a point. <laughs> I, I <laughs> right. think you're good for the first three weeks. <laughs> and then your true colors start to come out. Uh-huh. And then it really starts to show. So Right. So then everyone's everyone's targeting me. Yeah. The longer you last, the worse it gets. Right. So my first like three weeks, I'm good. But after that, I literally have a target on my back because everybody in the house is sick of my crap and wants me out. Right. But I'm better in the long run. I'm I'm good four or five weeks down the road. I'm not good Mm -hmm. at first because I might come off too harsh or whatever. Right. But later on. So it just depends who lasts longer. I thought you'd be better at at Big Brother than I am because I'll tell you why. It's not about the social game making friends Mm -hmm. because I I guess you do have to make a friend or two while you're there. But even if you make a friend, it's not it's a friend of me because they want the money also. It's not like they're there to help you. So you're really on your own. Mm -hmm. You do better when you're on your own, like you're very independent. You have like good strategy. You come up with great ideas. Mm -hmm. So I think even though you're not the most social person and maybe not the strongest guy in the room, I think you're clever. So I think you can do the smarty pants stuff, you know, those challenges. Mm -hmm. I think you'd be really good at manipulating somebody, you know, certainly if there's like a chick there. Oh, yeah. That maybe has the hots for you. You can certainly manipulate the heck out of her. I've mm-hmm. seen you do that before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I do that for a living. <laughs> yeah, you, right. So I, I think that you would do really well at Big Brother. I think I would do terribly. I think you're right. I would do well the first three weeks because people yeah. would be like, oh, my God, that Cooper, she's so nice. She really is going to be a team player. Mm. And then they're like, oh, Cooper's here. <laughs> Once you cross that Cooper hate line, you yeah. can't come back. Right. I can't I can't pretend to be phony. I can't be like, hey, no, you if I hate you, you know I hate you. Right. When and you can never cross that line back. They right. can never fall from, you know, Cooper hates you to Cooper starts to like you. No. Once Cooper hates you, you're dead. Right. That's it. I'm not I'm not so I'd be on the block. <laughs> if that person got head of household, I'd be out. That would be the end of it. No, if anybody got head of household, you'd be out. Because <laughs> they would all want you out. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, on that point, the first three weeks, you, last three weeks, me. 
Yeah. So it, ultimately, you would win. I, I think. I think you'd be better than me at Big Brother. That's a good game for you. I'll get right on that. <laughs> 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 in the uh the three four minutes a day that i don't have anything going on maybe i'll try that 